Hello, my friends at Government Engineering College, Raipur. I'm happy to be with you remotely and bring you greetings from Ladakh. Sorry that I couldn't be physically with you because we are into a lot of things these days as spring arrives and we have to plant a lot of trees so I couldn't come there but I'll share a little of my work here in Ladakh with you and how we apply uh, basic simple technology and science high school science really to solve serious problems that we are facing up in the mountains for example climate change shortage of water melting glaciers and so on in the small video next learning revolution you must have seen a little bit about our school and our approach to education where we uh, do a s alternative kind of schooling for students who are otherwise called failures in the conventional system but then they engage in applying uh, engaged learning to solve problems in their surroundings and become masters of their uh, learnings and do very well in life also. Um, here I'll share with you one example of application of high school science or maths to solve big problems. In a way it's good that I'm not there with you because I can bring you alive uh, this example of application of technology and management of technology to solve real problems in people's lives. So I am standing right now at the ice stupas or artificial glaciers in Ladakh and you'll see here an example of an artificial glacier called the ice stupa. You can see it's in a conical uh, structure of ice that is rising towards the sky. These can be from uh, 6 to 10 stories tall. Right now this one is around 6 stories tall and together with another it contains roughly 3 million liters of water. Now why water in the shape of ice? It's because we freeze the water that flows wastefully in winter into conical shapes and you start guessing why conical shapes. There's a very good reason why this shape we have chosen but before that I'll come to how it is made. Now if you see how this uh, stupa or conical shape of ice is made that is 5 to 10 stories it's a very simple process you'll see some pipes down there this these pipes bring water from the nearby stream which is high up higher up in the mountains not so very high it's about 70 meters higher head than here. So the pipe is laid in the stream and it's brought underground under this earth that you see and it comes here. Because it is downstream here and upstream where the inlet is, there is pressure in the pipe because as high school science says, water wants to always maintain its level. So the water in the pipe wants to go to the same height as the inlet which is 70 meters high so the water has pressure to rise up and to this pressure we add a fountain so right now you can't see but at night this fountain sprays water in the minus 20 sky and thereby water loses its heat or latent heat which is what keeps a liquid liquid losing which it becomes solid so as the fountain loses uh, uh, latent heat it falls down and freezes into a cone naturally you don't have to do much but it becomes a natural pyramid of ice now why this shape pyramid <clears throat> you have to remember that our objective is to keep water from winter when nobody wants water there is no agriculture in winter till spring when everybody wants water and there's not enough water there is conflict of water so we want to keep preserve winter water till spring and early summer now how do you keep it a lake would be so big and expensive to make but in a cold place you can make ice uh, cones or artificial glaciers to store the winter water into mid or early summer now for that we choose to make these uh, cones. Why those cones? You must have studied in your high school geometry that certain shapes have a, a low volume, no, no, low surface area for the given volume. Shapes like, you may remember, spheres have 
minimum surface area for the given volume. Similarly, hemispheres are more stable and have minimum surface area for the given volume. Cones are also similar and have minimal surface area for the given volume. Now you would ask why surface area are we so bothered about? That's because the sun needs surface area to melt ice and that is why all the ice on the ground melts away in March already and farmers cannot benefit from such ice in uh, May, for example. All the ice is gone because there is so much surface area on flat ground that the sun is able to melt all the ice by March. But then we trick the sun by making ice in the shape of a cone. This has minimum surface area so the ca sun can't melt it and it has maximal volume so the farmers can use it for their farms now sun needs surface area and we didn't we don't give it with the cone farmers don't care about surface area they want volume and a cone has ample volume for the surface area with this play of surface area and volume and a simple gravity based method of building it you get a pyramid with really no fuel no moving parts, no bills to pay. It's all gravity and natural forces making this cone of ice, which because of its shape, this geometrical shape, you use geometry to keep winter water into late spring or midsummer. And that's what makes it possible for us to um, grow trees in a desert which never had trees. So right below the ice stupas, you are going to see all these uh, plantations, trees. There are 5,000 trees there. It's too early in the spring to be green because in Ladakh it's still icy times. So all these 5,000 trees become lush green in spring thanks to the ice that keeps water from the winter into midsummer. Now we will be greening the whole desert that you see below. There is a vast desert of some five square kilometers. So the idea is to make many of these ice stupas and green the whole desert and create an alternative university that engages young people in applying what they learn in classrooms to solve problems like this. So using one such solution to create many solutions at an university uh, which researches for the mountains and creates solutions like ice stupas. Now if you see beyond the desert then you see the mountains. You see the mountains. This is what Ladakh is. You see the mountains and then you see the glaciers on top, white snow and uh, glaciers up there. These are the glaciers that normally melt naturally and give water to the farmers in Ladakh. But with climate change, these glaciers are becoming smaller and smaller and they melt too uh, much in the midsummer and too little in spring when people need water the most. So to solve this problem of climate change, uh, the ice stupas are uh, coming in very handy. Now we are uh, promoting it in many villages and very soon we hope that in these high Himalayan valleys, man-made glaciers will solve the problem of um, fast receding glaciers and erratic snowfalls. I hope you have uh, understood and enjoyed this one example of application of simple science and technology to a rural setting to solve a challenge as big as climate change, all with nothing but high school science. I very much hope that you all will also emphasize